The Sun Chronicle reported on Tuesday that the federal government has announced a plan to study the safety of crumb rubber. Those are the little black pellets that are used mainly as infill for artificial turf fields. The study for North Attleboro might be able to answer one of many questions that surround the potential upgrades at the Beaupre field. Does crumb rubber cause cancer? It's a question asked many times and the jury is still out, but the federal government has finally decided to try and put the question to bed once and for all. In a recent statement from the EPA, the agency stated, limited studies have not shown an elevated health risk from playing on fields with tire crumb, but the existing studies do not comprehensively evaluate the concerns about health risks from exposure to tire crumb. They go on to state that the multi-agency action plan will seek to fill important data and knowledge gaps, characterize constituents of recycled tire crumb, and identify ways in which people may be exposed to tire crumb based on their activities on the field. The statement goes on to say that, by late 2016, the agencies will release a draft status report that describes the findings and conclusions of the research through that point in time. With North Attleboro School Department officials and a local parent group recently proposing an upgrade to the Beaupre field that would include the addition of a turf field, the findings of this action plan could help give clarity on the risks involved. School committee member James McKenna has spoken out on the issue on multiple occasions. We had some items on the agenda that dealt with uh, crumb rubber fields or artificial turf and the reconstruction of the fields up, up at the high school. Uh, I had seen a a uh, news report probably two years ago on that topic, so I just Googled the information and, and um, brought those to the attention of the full committee in the town. Because in order to make crumb rubber, it's made out of tires. It has to be placed into a solvent to remove the steel belt from the rubber, so there's additional chemicals involved in that. And there's a uh, Yale University professor, a PhD in chemistry, who has stated that we don't even know half of the chemicals that are contained within crumb rubber. During the January 4th school committee meeting, McKenna questioned school officials on what the composition of a turf field at Beaupre would be comprised of. My concern has always been the composition of what would be the, the turf field. Not necessarily that a turf field isn't, isn't an option, but the compounds that would be used for, for the turf field. Well, I spoke with both, uh, both comers, if you will, Kyle and Kurt, uh, afterwards, and certainly they're going to their mission is beyond just the school children, but for use of the whole town. If we can find an artificial infill that's satisfactory to everybody, the field can be used 365 days a year. And the parent group who's trying to provide some funding, the plan is for them to install the lighting. So there's a lot of movement, if you will, in going forward. We just don't want to plow ahead. In a roundtable sit-down with school officials, the school department's director of facility and grounds, Kyle Kummer, stated they are aware of and looking into alternatives if turf is added. We've brought in a few different engineering firms to start to discuss the, this project. And the rubber crumb has come up. There's been multiple studies on either side of the fence, um, you know, because of the rubber crumb or the rubber ground up rubber material that there's a possibility that it that it can cause cancer, and on the, on the other hand, it doesn't cause cancer. So we didn't want to get into that, that back and forth. So we said, okay, we need to look at some options here, and the first option was an organic or a natural material infill. If we were to go to an organic material, you're looking at about 250000 additional dollars to build a turf field. So we looked at that, and we said, you know, that, that's kind of you know, cost prohibitive for us, especially when we're trying to, to, to raise the funds for this. So there is a product out there for under $100,000 that we could actually encapsulate. It's just similarly what you would encapsulate paint or any other uh, materials that you, you want to make sure nobody can get their hands to touch. So for, for under $100,000, we can certainly encapsulate that product. And we'll, we'll most likely have one of the only, if this were to go, we would have the only field that was encapsulated, which would prevent those conditions. With federal finding months out, how does the school committee proceed with the Beaupre field upgrades with the crumb rubber issue hanging over their heads? Well, moving forward is whether or not we're going to actually put it on the field and, and put it in the ground. And I have enough confidence in the school administration and town officials that they're not going to do anything, anything rash. So there could be an edge to everything, and I'm not looking to stop anything, but I'm just looking to bring all of the issues to the forefront, have a discussion so that we can move forward, not plow ahead. 
As mentioned in the story, the rough results of those studies are going to be due towards the end of late 2016, where they'll release as much information as they can at the time on that crumb rubber. And we'll see if those results influence what goes on at Beaupre Field. From the newsroom here at North TV, I'm Jared Ware.